What's the significance of what's happening here today? Uh, it's uh, a new neighborhood of Valaisav. Uh, I think that uh, through a negotiation it's important to deliver the message that the Jewish settlements are not uh, something that is going to uh, uh, to be uprooted or uh, to be something that will uh, live history. I think we're here to remain here and we're here to extend the Jewish uh, settlements and I think this is one of the most exciting things to see before Rosh Hashanah, uh, before we start a new year, to see young families coming here, building their houses in, uh, in the Shomron, um, coming back to their Jewish homeland. I think this is great. Building a new community in Judea Samaria while uh, the Livni is at the negotiating table. Isn't that a problematic tactic? <laughs> to build in Judea and to build in Samaria, it's not a problematic uh, a tactic and not a problematic issue uh, for our point of view. This is a, a, another step of building Judea and Samaria. We can negotiate with the Palestinians, we are negotiating with the Palestinians, and we can build and we will build in Judea, in Samaria, in the Golan Heights, in the Negev, in the Galil, everywhere in Eretz Israel. Do you feel and you believe this will prevent the Palestinian state? I hope so. Netanyahu used to say that uh, as long as uh, um, any other decision wasn't made about the future of those places, we need to develop them and we need to let the people here to live their lives, to extend uh, uh, Jewish settlements here. And I think this is one of the greatest achievements of a right-wing uh, government that pays attention to the nation, pays attention to the people in Israel, not just to what's going on in Washington. You mentioned a right-wing government. Do you feel that that's uh, something that you could say uh, without any problem? You feel that we might be going near things that aren't so right-wing? Well, it's very obvious that uh, we're in the middle of negotiation. We need to be worried about uh, the things that are going to be spoken in the negotiation table. I mean, the issues of Jerusalem, the refugees, of course, uh, we're worried. And I think uh, that we have a strong prime minister that has uh, strong values and uh, borders. And when I, when I say borders, I mean ideological borders. And uh, he won't cross the red lines. And, uh, Is Livni your representative? Um, Livni is, of course, uh, a person that was sent by the Prime Minister. I mean, she's not there as Tipi Livni of Kadima or Tipi Livni of Atma. She's there as, uh, as someone who's delivering messages of Likud Prime Minister. This is why she can't say what uh, she used to say in the past and what we heard in the Omer uh, government and the Eud uh, government, I think, won't remain again. And uh, we won't hear about, uh, unfortunately, such a bad uh, uh, ideas of uh, agreements that are going to give up the idea of Jerusalem as the capital of, uh, of the Jewish nation.